All right, this video is simply the answer to the other video. So this picture you see here of Michael Keaton in Batman 1989 is real. And this one obviously is fake. This one here is real. This was actually the actor on set. You can always find that online. This one's fake, actually. This is actually a hot toy version of Michael Keaton in Batman 1989. This is real. This is real Michael Keaton here. And this is actually fake. This is not real Michael Keaton. That is a toy of him. As is this one, believe it or not. That's actually a toy of Michael Keaton in Batman Returns. This is a real uh, clip of Michael Keaton in Batman Returns. The likeness of those hot toys are just remarkable. Now you would think this is fake. I really, I almost got duped into that, but this is actually from uh, Batman Begins, and this is really Christian Bale you're looking at here. This, however, is fake. This is a toy of him, a hot toy of him. And this is real, obviously. That's from the, the movie, and you see the bats coming from him. This is actually real. This is not fake. This is actually Christian Bale uh, from Batman uh, The Dark Knight. Yeah, it's actually him. But this is not real. This is actually a toy of him. And this here, believe it or not, is actually real. This is actually from Christian Bale <laughs> from The Dark Knight Rises, I believe. Okay? So, you know, it's just what it is. This is real. That's Ben Affleck there. He's probably in the warehouse, doing the warehouse scene. And this is not real. But what is so remarkable to me is that the likeness of the actors to these, to these uh, hot toys. These toys look just like the actors, which is really crazy. You couldn't tell. I, I almost thought this was a toy also, but it's not a toy. It's actually the actual actor, and this is the toy, which is crazy. That's the actual actor. That's the actual actor again. That's the toy of him. So they're really getting remarkably good at getting the likeness of actors with the toys now. I swear this was Michael Keaton. Real Michael Keaton. But it's actually a toy of him. So they really got that down packed. This one wasn't as, as accurate. You could kind of tell it's plasticky. But, you know. And this is the real Michael Keaton. That's a toy of him. Believe it or not. And a small toy of that. One sixth version. This is him again. And that is obviously a toy of him. I think this gives it away the blood. They didn't do a perfect job of that. And this could easily have been the toy of him as well, if you think about it. This could have looked like a toy, but it's not. All right? So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Again, watch at this. This is the real Christian Bale here. It's crazy. This is not the real Christian Bale. This is a toy of him, and this is also a toy of him. It's just remarkable how they're capturing the likeness now of people. Both in CGI and now in sculpting which they can use computer generated images from the actual actors to make these uh, like lifelike figures so it's really crazy you know once upon a time you have to go to Madame Toussaint in uh, England to see these things now we get miniature versions of these things because of 3d printing and the fact that we can also map characters into uh, computers now it's just crazy what technology can do. On that note, you guys have a great one.